to this tutorial on how to play Ready to Change by Codaline. We've got a capo on a second fret, standard tuning. There are multiple ways to play this. You could just play the bar chords and the chords themselves, but that's why I have this capo on here. And I'll show you how to play without the capo towards the end of the video if you'd like to see that as well. But we're going to start with a G minor chord. So you're going to have your index finger on the first fret relative to the capo of the G string, third fret for the ring finger on the A string pinky on the 3rd fret right under on the D, and we're just going to pick those three strings, so the A, the D, and the G with our right hand here. We're going to go 1, 2, and then you're going to drop your index finger, 3, 1, 2, 3. Next you're going to put your middle finger on that 2nd fret, or the 3rd fret of the A, ring finger on the 3rd fret of the D and then you're going to slide your pinky under on the 3rd fret of the G. And then you're going to drop your pinky and add your index finger to the first, back to the 1st fret where it was before. So you can actually just stay in that position if you'd like. So it starts out like this, 1, 2, drop your index, 3, add the pinky, 1, 2, drop the pinky, add the index. So that sounds like this. And that's what's played throughout the entire verse. So if you'd like to know the chords for that, without the capo, you're just going between a G minor and a D minor. you would need instead. But I think it sounds better to play it the way I was playing with the capo here. And then we're going to transition into our chords for the pre-chorus. So I just taught you the verse. Next up is the pre-chorus here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be telling you these chords um, not relative to the capo, so as if the capo wasn't on. But this is a E flat chord. So you're going to bar the fourth fret relative to the capo with your index finger, fifth string down, ring finger on the 6th fret relative to the capo, 4th string down, and we're going to just pick through the A, D, G, B, and let that B ring. Next we're going to slide down to a, we're actually going to slide up to our F chord, so you're going to just keep that shape and slide it up to the 6th fret, play those same strings. So index is on the 6th fret, ring fingers on the 8th fret. Then we're going to go to a D minor, so you're going to slide your index down to the 3rd fret relative to the capo. Middle finger will be on the 4th fret of the B. Ring finger on the 5th fret of the D. Pinky right under on the 5th fret of the G. And you're going to play those same notes. A, D, G, B strings. And then you go back to your E flat. And that's the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus sounds like this. E flat. F. D minor, back to your E flat, and then we jump into the chorus, which sounds like this. Okay, so the chords I'm playing there is a G minor, so you're going to borrow the first fret relative to the capo with your index finger, bar all six strings, ring finger on the third fret of the A, pinky on the third fret of the D, and our strumming goes like this, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, and after we go from that G minor, we're going to go up to our B flat chord, same strumming, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, and that's done by barring the fourth fret with your index finger, all six strings. 5th fret for the middle finger on the G string, ring finger on the 6th fret of the A, pinky right under on the 6th fret of the D, and the strumming again is down, 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 up, down, 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 up, and then we go back to our E flat chord that we've already played, same strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. All right.
right, so I'm going to go ahead and play through the chorus here for two bars. So we're starting on our G minor. To our B flat. To our E. And that's it. And like I said, if you wanted to play that without the capo on there, you can still do the same thing. Whoops. Since those are all bar chords, you can do the same thing. But I just keep the capo on there because I like to play the verse like this. And it's a little harder to do that without the capo on there. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you have other questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.